Nozitelo Ngobo, Coca-Cola Beverages South Africa, Director for PACS. Good morning, everyone. I don't do podiums, I'm short, so I'm very happy with the setup today because I just literally disappear behind a podium. Um, thank you so much for inviting us uh, to be part of the session today. Uh, today I'll share with you our plans around sustainability and plastic circularity, and I'm really looking forward to further engagements in terms of uh, our own blind spots as a bottler, club, as well as things that we could do better and differently. So today my presentation is quite short. I'll be paying rent by giving you an overview of who we are, what we are all about, but I swear it's only two slides, and then we go to the real uh, exciting bit. I'll share very briefly our sustainability strategy that informs our world without waste ambitions, which is a global strategy we launched in 2018, and then what we're doing in South Africa around collection, recycling, and plastic circularity. Um, this is the leadership of the business. Uh, Bravi Vela Piratsefola is our MD, and um, those are my colleagues and my peers. And the one thing that we've been able to do as well is that sustainability is a shared KPI. So an HR director has a responsibility around sustainability, a finance director. So it's not just my problem somewhere in the corner. It's actually a shared KPI. And it informs the short-term incentives as well as long-term incentives. That is how seriously we take uh, sustainability. We are a big business. Sorry, there's a typo there. It's 287,000 coolers. We are a big organization. We are a big bottler. We are the biggest Coca-Cola bottler in Africa and the fourth biggest in the world. And our size makes it extremely necessary and pertinent to take sustainability seriously. And that is why sustainability is a shared uh, performance goal at an XCOM level. We are present in four regions, which basically is all the provinces except the Western Cape. We have a, book, a sister Bokla company who covers Western Cape, then we cover the rest of the continent. Over 7,000 employees, uh, 13 manufacturing plants. We also cover Lesotho and, and Eswatini. And I'm really proud to share that with the support and the collaborations we've had with our recyclers, our PROs, we've been able to collect 93% of the material we put out last year alone. And our target is to get 200% by 2030. So I look to Petco, Sherry, I look to Shandro to help us achieve this uh, big, big milestone. And all other five PROs that we belong to as a, as a system. Level 1B contributor, we're proud of this. We shot from the rooftops. We've done it for two years. We're on track to do it for this year again. So one of the reasons I wanted to share that is part of the enterprise uh, and supplier development budget is also around the secular economy. We support SMMEs in that space. So it's something that we're proud of. So here's the nice, part, the nice bit. We have a very detailed uh, framework around sustainability, and it covers the entire value chain. From manufacturing right through to stakeholders, we are very deliberate uh, about the work we do in this space. We look at waste, water, sustainable sourcing, consumer well-being. Consumer well-being are the um, it's not just safety, but it's also um, reformulated products. Your Coke Zero, your Coke Lights, etc. Employee safety, climate change, and economic closure. So this is what we are measured on. But today I'll be speaking about waste because that's where we are. So for us, waste is, as I've said, very, very critical uh, because by virtue of our size and what we issue out in the market. So our ambitions really, 
as I've mentioned, is to collect every single bottle that we issue out in the market by 2030. We're already at 93%, and we, the number is verified, so it's not our view of the world. We're really hoping to push this further. And um, I'm not going to repeat the obvious. As a business, we know that packaging is a worldwide problem. So what we want to do is to actually do three things. Make sure that the product that we issue is designed and is recyclable. We use recycled content in our products, and we also do refillables. Let me just go into detail. The first block uh, about the world without waste is the design. Chandro, we try to remove color. We're not as fast as you want us to, but we're trying very hard. I'm sure you've seen Sprite is clear. Uh, Stony will be clear soon, and uh, we're really trying hard. Um, we also do a lot of lightweighting and increased PET content. If you look at the Valpre uh, uh, bottle, that's already 20% recycled content. Bon Aqua is already 100%. So, uh, of recycled material. Um, we also do a lot of collections, working with uh, amazing people like Petco. We belong to five PROs to make sure we collect everything. The bottle, the shrink wrap, the closure, Alice. We try and collect everything, and then we support collectors. It's a very complicated market of demand and supply. Load shading, we're just discussing earlier the impacts of load shading and everything else. So we really work closely and collaborate with our PROs and also continue to explore uh, sustainable solutions. Of course, as with all of you, we can't do this alone. We partner with uh, as many people as we can. So in terms of the design, I've already mentioned that uh, already in South Africa, 99% um, of our um, uh, Packaging is recyclable. This is something we monitor on a monthly basis. At an ex-co level, I present on a monthly basis the dashboard. So this is just to confirm the commitment by the business. We increase recycled material, as I've mentioned. We also have what we call refillable packaging. So with your uh, refillable PET, call it RefPET, a uh, two-liter Coke, uh, customers can consume the product take it back to the retailer, actually get a deposit. So that's why we call it refillable PET. You don't just dispose it, you don't refill it, so that you don't recycle it, um, you bring it back to the retailer. We also try to reduce our virgin plastic uh, procurement so that we are only focused on RefPET. Um, sorry, on RPET. And of course, globally, we explore packaging innovation tools sorry, solutions to make sure that we remain close to the latest technological developments. Uh, collections, I've already mentioned that we want to collect everything by 2030. Um, uh, last year we were at 93%. The number will, is verified, so that's where the asterisk is there. We work uh, with uh, consumers, customers, this work we are picking up with uh, some of the hotel chains, uh, the spare group as well, uh, just to ensure that in their outlets, in their institutions, we can do a proper recycling, as well as investing in infrastructure, working closely with Petco, uh, providing bailing machines, etc., for the recyclers out there. I'm not going to pause here, but the point of this slide is that we know how much we're putting out there, we know how much we need to collect, and we know where the gaps are, and then we initiate engagements with the stakeholders. So it's, it's, it's a deliberate, a mathematical thing. We don't wing it. We know exactly what we're putting out there. A partnerships, again, we don't do this alone. We have so many partnerships, like the school's recycling programs, one of the partnerships, we partner with our customers, some of the hotel chains, some of the restaurant chains to make sure that we collect and we invest and we work with the WWF and other organizations to make sure that our oceans are clean and we do a lot of beach cleanups around the continent on an on a annual basis. And I've already spoken about our partnership with Petco in terms of um, 
infrastructure and, 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 and so forth. This is a very busy slide, but here is just to give you a flavor of exactly how we work across the value chain. 50% of our funding really is around the partnerships we have with converters, PROs, other brands, retailers, etc. And then we also spend money around um, innovation. How do we do things better? And this is just a busy slide to tell, um, to show you what we're doing. One of the biggest things that we are launching in partnership with Petco, Aro, and Unilever is what we call a separation at source. As a beverages manufacturer, it's important that the product or the package does not end up in a landfill uh, because it's food grade, obviously. So we want to make sure that it's done uh, the separation at source. That's my story today. Thank you so much for your